back to my channel everybody and welcome if you're new here today is going to be a epicure haul um, I did a epicure haul in like one of my what I eat in a days and um, you guys seem to enjoy it and I had a few people ask me to do another one so I'm here to do that um, this one's a much larger one so I was like I'm gonna put it in a separate video if you guys have never had epicure before or have never heard of it um, it's just like a healthier alternative to spices and you know meal solutions they have awesome products they also have cookware um, I just love that there's no MSG it's gluten-free essentially most of their um, like spices and dip mixes are like zero to one point and I just love that about it um, and like I said no MSG and low sodium which is awesome well lower sodium of course it's gonna have a little bit of sodium but I am hosting another epicure party so if you're interested I will leave the links down below there's separate ones for Canadian um, followers and US followers so it will be linked down below and if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach out we need to get started because I have quite a collection here to show you guys um, let's start off with the like spices and stuff um, I was really wanting the smoky mojo um, sauce mix so these are so versatile you can use it for anything um, but anyways this one is for two teaspoons is 20 calories I used this on my egg salad the other day and it was delicious um, so it has smoked paprika garlic sea salt black pepper spices and herbs um, so you can make a sauce there's like um, the recipe on the back so for a half a cup of sauce stir in two tablespoons of mix two tablespoons each of water and vinegar let stand for five minutes and stir in two tablespoons of olive oil so essentially you're gonna be making half a cup of sauce and literally the only thing that's gonna count as points or calories um, would be the olive oil I don't think vinegar is so um, and for what did it say two tablespoons of olive oil so great alternative um, I also saw on their website that you can like put this on corn I feel like this would be good on like a potato salad as well um, so honestly whatever you want to use it on you could use it on like roasted veggies whatever um, this is one of my favorites it is called red garlic and it is like a topper blend with no salt added literally zero yeah there's no sodium in it so um, it's so good I just I add it on anything when we go camping I use this a lot on like my potatoes just adds a lot of flavor without having you know added sodium and in this one there's garlic red bell pepper organic apple cider vinegar powder um, Spices, onion, hibiscus, hibi that's wrong, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, something herbs and citric acid, so awesome. So these next items, they come in a four pack or you can buy them separately. I just ended up buying the whole four pack. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like 30 bucks or something Canadian. Um, I will try and find it and post it here. Anyway, so it comes with four. Obviously, um, I bought this for camping because we go camping a lot and I just love burgers. So the first one is this West Coast Burger. Um, you can use this for salmon burgers, um, just on salmon in general or any type of fish. Um, and in this one, there's onion, cornstarch, herbs, garlic, sea salt, um, just some really good like flavors and I'm not a huge fan of like fish burgers but I feel like this will just make them that much better I feel like this would be really good in crab cakes and literally a half a tablespoon is 10 calories and for the amount you're gonna use literally zero points this one I'm excited for it's the Tuscan chicken burger um, I'm gonna use this obviously on in my chicken burgers or turkey burgers it would just add much more flavor to it and then just adding it onto like my chicken breast so um, I'm excited for this one um, and then this one is just a burger spice so just using it in, in ground beef or whatever you want to use um, and then on the back of these they say how to use them or just like different ways to use them and on their websites there's a whole bunch of recipes um, but I can't wait to use this and then the big burger sauce guys I've never tried this I've never tried any of those either but this sounds amazing so spread on burgers hot dogs and sandwiches stir in horseradish for a quick cocktail sauce so you just combine two tablespoons of the mix one cup of mayo so you can use light mayo two tablespoons of ketchup so you can use sugar-free ketchup if you'd like and one tablespoon of relish so and that makes I want to say well, obviously it makes like a cup of um, 
burger sauce. So um, I love Big Mac sauce, so I'm hoping this is like maybe similar or will replace that for me. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm excited for everything, so let's just get that out of the way. Um, the next thing I got, my husband loves coleslaw, and I thought I would give this coleslaw um, salad dressing mix a try. Um, and then just for the mix alone is literally five uh, calories per teaspoon, half a teaspoon. You can make creamy coleslaw, you can make a tangy vinegar coleslaw or a tartar sauce. I think this will be really good and it'll be like a little bit more healthier than me going to buy a thing of um, salad dressing, which I'm not saying is bad because I still do, but I just feel like maybe this will just be a little bit better, lower sodium, lower calories, and I can kind of control what's going into it. Next thing is the creamy potato salad mix. Um, I love summer, I love summer food, so I feel like this would go really well with like the burger burgers. You can make it creamy. You can make a potato salad vinaigrette. Um, there's mustard and paprika in here. And it just sounds really good. And again, I can just control what I'm putting into it. Um, for the creamy potato salad, you can use two tablespoons of dressing mix with half a cup of mayo and each half a cup of each mayo with a half a cup each mayo and plain Greek yogurt. So you can use light mayo or non-fat plain Greek yogurt to cut down on the points. I don't know the exact points when it's made, but I know it's gonna be pretty low, um, so that's gonna be delicious. Of course, I had to grab the Everything Bagel Seasoning. This is my favorite and I love, I love it because it has chia seeds in it, so just a little bit more healthier, um, and it's a great source of omega-3s, um, source of fiber, and you can literally put this on anything. Like, it's, you can put it, the Everything Bagel seasoning on anything, so. Um, and I find it, it's actually a really good price here in Canada. It's hard to find Everything Bagel seasoning. I can't remember how much this is, but it's like, I don't know, I'll post it here, but to me it's a good price and it tastes really good. Okay, these next things also came in a set, but you can buy them separately. Um, I will post the set here so you can see what it is. It's $40.95 um, Canadian, don't know what it is US, but anyways, um, it came with two of these smoking barbecue um, sauce mixes. So literally, I like these because, again, I can control what's in them. And so for the dry mix, it's only five calories and prepared is 25 um, calories. So it's two tablespoons and that's not bad at all. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm sure it tastes delicious. Um, so again, it tells you um, what to do. Um, you can actually make a wet rub out of it by using apple cider vinegar, or you can just use the barbecue, like normal barbecue sauce. Um, and then it tells you what to do. Um, you have to add in some ketchup, some unsweetened applesauce, which is perfect because that's zero points on WW. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to try these. And then it also came with this O Canada dry glaze. I've never tried this either, but apparently it's delicious. Like you can put it on anything, chicken breast, whatever you want. Um, veggies, I think it'll be really good on veggies. So um, also, again, tells you what to do. If there's a glaze, there's a mustard glaze, that would be delicious. But in here there's sugar, organic cane sugar, maple sugar, garlic, onion, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. And obviously it's O Canada, so there needs to be maple in there, but I've heard such good things about this so I had to get it and when it was in the pack I was like I need to get the pack <laughs> um, and then the next thing that was in there is this teriyaki dry glaze I feel like my husband's gonna really like this um, one tablespoon of this is 40 calories um, so for the dry glaze combine two tablespoons of dry glaze with one tablespoon each olive oil and soy sauce and then per one pound of protein. So, I mean, that's not bad. Like, I feel like that would maybe coat two chicken breasts. And honestly, that's not bad at all. Um, real ingredients, you know, nothing that's gonna be in there that's like additive or anything. So I'm excited to try this and we'll see if my husband likes that. And the last thing in the set is the Montreal steak um, rub. We love steaks. I'm gonna take this camping. I feel like a lot of these are gonna be staples for me for camping. Um, and I just love how Epicure just adds so much flavor to my food because, you know, sometimes on a health journey, things can get a little bit boring. So to spice it up with, you know, herbs and spices that don't really, you know, cost you a lot of points is awesome. So that's all that was in that kit. And then I also got this barbecue chicken rub. I smelt this guys and it smells delicious. Um, obviously I'm gonna use this on chicken breast, on ribs. Um, I really wanna make some ribs while I'm camping. Um, five calories for half a tablespoon, no, half a teaspoon. Um, and then again, 
Um, there's a dry rub, there's a wet rub, a sweet and spicy barbecue. Ooh, that would be really good. Um, anyways, so in here there's like spices, garlic, organic cane sugar, um, chili powder, herbs, black pepper, um, cayenne pepper, but it literally just smells like smoked goodness. I don't know how to explain it. It smells really good though. I picked up a marinara um, sauce mix because I want to make some homemade marinara sauce and I've never had this before. I just feel like it would be great to have in my pantry and I feel like this is going to be a pantry staple. Um, just adds more flavor and just you know that much more depth to my pasta sauce so that's exciting. I had to pick up some taco seasoning. Um, I keep buying the packets at the store of the low sodium ones. Um, this one has 15 milligrams of sodium Per one teaspoon I don't know if that's like normal or anything but I just love the flavor of this it has a little bit of a different flavor um, the ingredients are chili powder spices onion garlic mustard herbs cayenne pepper um, jalapeno pepper mustard but honestly guys I like this one it's really good we're on to the meal solutions um, of course I had to pick up six more packs of the mac and cheese I love this um, I actually use it with the fiber gourmet noodles and they're much lower in points than normal pasta and then I use like I don't know probably a fourth of the package not even I don't know I just count one point for what I use because I literally don't even use that much um, but I do believe it's it's one point per 11 grams. I'll have to check on that, but it's very low in points. I like this. It doesn't taste artificial. It's almost like, I want to kind of say like a white cheddar. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks because it's white and it's like, oh, it's white cheddar, but it's really good. Like I said, I had to buy six more because I love it that much. And I was asking my husband the other day, I was like, have you tried this? Have I made it for you yet? He's like, no. I'm like, that's because I've been hoarding it myself. Um, but great flavor, um, a little bit healthier than boxed macaroni and cheese but i like boxed macaroni and cheese too but sometimes i want something just a little bit on the healthier side um so all i do is i like i said cook my fiber gourmet noodles and then put a little bit of spray butter in put this in and then i put the cheese chives and bacon dip mix in with it guys so good so anyways got those um what else did i get okay that's more mac and cheese um, these are delicious. It's the crispy and crunchy lettuce wraps. Um, if you use extra lean ground chicken, um, I think your wraps would be like one point. I think mine turned out to be a little bit more because I didn't use um, ground chicken breast. But a uh, fourth of the package dry is only 20 calories. And they're, it's just spices, guys. I don't think there's any... Okay, there's one gram of sugar. Sometimes I'm a rebel and I don't count for spices because some spices do have sugar, so that's at your discretion. Um, but um, this one is made with um, a pound of ground pork, some bell pepper, and some sesame oil. That's why I count because I forgot there's sesame oil in there. Um, so if you're gonna prepare it as to what the back says, um, two lettuce wraps is 290 calories, but it's so good. And I saw that you can make egg roll in a bowl with this. So I cannot wait to try that. I love egg roll in a bowl. The next thing I had to pick up was this sweet garlic chicken. Um, I heard really good things about this. A quarter of the dry mix is 50 calories. And like I said, use your discretion. Well, this one actually has six sugar, grams of sugar, so I would count points for it. Um, but there's a recipe on the back with sweet potatoes, and that sounds delicious. Um, so I think each of these sets come with three of these, and I think they're like 10 something, but just something easy and quick, and I'm definitely gonna try it with the sweet potatoes because that sounds delicious. Okay, so next, Sloppy Joe. I don't think I've tried these before, and this is gonna pair well with my coleslaw. Remember when I said something's gonna pair well? This is what's gonna pair really well with the coleslaw, I think. Um, so this one, 50 calories for the quarter of the dry mix, if you prepare it as to what it says on the back. Um, and that's with lean ground beef is 290 for half or quarter of the package prepared. But um, I'm going to play around with it, probably use like extra lean ground chicken or extra lean ground beef and see how that tastes. But um, what like the ingredients in the spices sound really good. So I can't wait for that. And these are perfect for taking camping. So Okay, are we almost done here? I don't know. So next is the Southern Baked Gluten-Free Crumb Mix. Um, like Shake and Bake, it's really good. It has a lot of flavor. I find it has way more flavor than Shake and Bake and I really, really enjoy it. This one has chia, 
I don't know how to pronounce that, P-S-Y-L-L-I-U-M, husk, onion, uh, garlic spices, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. So this one comes with three as well. It's really good, really flavorful, and you get a lot in a pack. Like I made one, two, three, I think six like little chicken breasts. Like they were thin, but like I had, I swear over half the packet left, so it lasts you a long time. Next time I cook with these, I think I'm just gonna use half because there's so much in there and I don't wanna waste it, so. So that is the end of this haul. It was pretty big, but like I said, I'm addicted to Epicure. Um, I just love how I can, you know, fit it around my WW program and it just spices up my dishes that much more. If you guys have any questions on anything, just let me know. I will be happy to answer them for you. Some of this stuff, like I said, I haven't tried yet, but it smells really good and I know that it's gonna be good. I will leave those links down below so you guys can check out the website, check out the catalog. They do have cookware. They have like really good silicone baking cookware and I love my um, meat masher it's like I use it for my uh, ground meat um, and I just love that so they have really good products um, I just thought I would share this with you guys because I do use it on a regular basis and I use them a lot in videos so I just thought I'd show you guys my haul um, but anyways that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one